Jason Perillo. Hey, congratulations, man. Congratulations. Super cool. Tell me how was that feeling, man? How was that feeling? Hey, it was amazing. Okay, I got the is, is this the new client or what? Oh. New, new student hey, or what? Hey, who wants to buy this shirt? He just touched it. <laughs> sign it, sign it one time. What's up, brother? How was that? I got you hit too hard. You hit too hard. Hi, baby. Oh, yeah. I feel great, man. Obviously, what an amazing way to end your career, right? Right. I mean, fuck, you gotta win. First round submission, why not? Hey, he looked amazing, know what you guys said. He did, man. But with the ending like that, do you feel like he really is gonna retire? Oh. <laughs> Never I think, know. I, for some reason, I got all these old guys, man. I train a lot of old guys. Of course, well, everybody. You know, it's it's really tough to walk away, and if he does walk away, you got to respect him for that. You know, good for him if he does. Anybody who's 36 and above, you fucking pay the man. Look, he's changing lives over here. You're gonna bring him in? Oh yeah. Oh. I'm 30, I'm 30. He's 30. No, no, I'm saying bring him in. Hey, we gotta wait till he's shoot. We gotta wait till he's older. <laughs> <laughs> he, what, he, immediately? I I I I ran out of cage. He just uh he basically just ecstatic, you know, he's happy. He just he just relieved, you know what I mean? He's been waiting for this 14 weeks he's been getting ready for this, you know, and uh Well 20, 20 years, year right? Career, yeah. 20 year career. He's up in there with a the guy uh you know, Chael Sonny's a legend himself. He really is a tough opponent. Chael was favored in the fight. And, uh, you know, it's what makes it a sweet victory. When you beat a guy when you're the underdog, it makes it even that much bigger, better. And when it's the last fight of your career, 20 years, and you get a sweet submission in front of his hometown crowd, forget about it. If it's up to you, do you want to see him fight or retire? Oh, I wait. He, 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 I, like, I, I want to see him retire on top. I want to see him be able to say, hey, you know what? But saying in the, in the fight game is you're only as good as your last fight. Um, so you might as well go out on top, right? You might as well go out with a victory. And of course, a, a first round victory is the way you want to finish your career. It's a sweet way to go. Does it get much better than this? No, it doesn't. I love it. I love the, I love the victories. I love it. It's like, you feel the wins, you feel the losses as a coach. And, uh, you know, one week you can feel the loss and the next week you can feel the win, you know. But it, what's most important is how he feels it. And uh, he gets it right off of the sunset and happy man. It's awesome. Yes, no, he does. That's why, you know, I, I got I got a call from the radio that said, you know what, it sounds like Chael might be winning the mind game over here. Um, people think he's getting under Tito's skin, and uh, you know, he, you know, he, it might cause Tito to be a little wild, a little careless. All I was thinking was he's just making my job easier because that is true. Tito's a very emotional guy, and uh, you know he thrives off it. Some guys, some guys, it, it makes them, uh, you know, overreact like like people are concerned. But with him, you know, it, it fuels his fire. Did that go the way you thought it would? Yeah, it did. Uh, he's been getting that rear naked a lot in camp. Uh, uh, Raphael Davis has been uh, his main sparring partner, and, he, and he's been getting that mount. He's been getting that uh, that rear naked all camp, you know. And uh, I thought he spent a little bit more time round and pounding, a little bit more elbows, but you know the submission was there. He went for it. Congratulations, sir! Thank you so much for the time. Man.